You may uh, put your mind at ease, monsieur. The cargo will be delivered on time. I dare say thanks a road to Saint Nicolas. Or perhaps a uh, guardian angel, monsieur. Ah, Aveline. I'm sure it is not your old father's company that draws you here. I will leave you both to your private business. Aveline. The documents you found aboard the right captain's ship. I recognize the name. Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer, a known enemy. I don't know what his business is here, but we can be sure it's more than a simple larceny. How can I help? One of Agate's servant contacts tells us that he will attend a social soiree at the governor's mansion this evening. I'll have my best dress ready. Or my worst. <laughs> Fear not, Gerald. I'll uncover his true purpose. In the meantime, may I suggest that you uh, familiarize yourself with the governor's mansion? Perhaps discover a uh, discreet way to enter? Don't worry, Gerald. I will prepare well. Uh, one more thing. There is a small uh, house for sale near the governor's mansion. It would be ideal for a dressing chamber. If you wouldn't mind uh, buying it. Your wish is my command. Monsieur Blanc. Enchanté de vous revoir. Get away!
Remember, we need these goods delivered to the south entrance just after sunset. Here, this will grant you access to the kitchen. Spanish under our spell, the company man will at last have the power to fulfill our true purpose. And if you provide us the labor, we'll ensure the errors of Santo Domingo are not repeated here. I will do all I can to smooth the handover of the colony, and your mission will have all the workers it needs, provided you make good on your promise. Labor is in tight supply as it is, and I must remain in power as governor. Were our arrangement ever detected? My, my, Governor. I fear the air of conspiracy has gone to your head. We'll make good on our promise, so long as your end of the bargain is kept. Everything is under control. You can count on me. Bueno. Then I shall away to indulge in your delightful soiree. Tonight, I drink to the death of the Brotherhood. Sacrifice the good of the colony to a Templar conspiracy, Gouverneur. I should ask you why. The Order is the future. But 
The Templars will keep our colony French. The Templars will keep the colony Templar. Uh, Why does the Ferrer want workers? Uh, 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 Tell me his plans and redeem yourself. I know nothing of his plans. I was to send him slaves and vagrants. The ones most likely to rise up against... Against those who would oppose oppression and claim the life that is owed them. Uh, uh, uh. Rest in peace, Gouverneur. Le comportement n'est pas normal. Ici. My student, the hornet's nest grows, 
I retreat to safety, the better to observe and strike. I require your assistance. Use your gifts to follow my trail. May the lower guide you swiftly. Agate, you wrote of the enemy? Yes. Deep in the bayou, a dangerous imposter spreads real roots. He calls himself Francois Macandal, my own mentor, the leader, the priest, the brother, to whose cause I devoted my life. He was put to death by fire. I failed to prevent it. Who is this imposter, and what are his affiliations? This you will need to uncover. But first, preparations. Francois Macandal was an expert in poisons. This blowpipe was his. A fine weapon. A single dart blown from a distance will fell a man. You may use this to your advantage, if you approach in stealth.
The false Makandal gathers followers. They attempt to overtake smuggling operations on the bayou. To finance what, I cannot say. There is a smuggler, a woman named Elise Lafleur. She knows every bog and tangle of the swamp. Perhaps she could be persuaded to help. I'm sure I can motivate her. Good. When you get to Makandal, use your darts to approach, but remember, you will need to complete your mission using more direct means. We offer two choices. You give up the river? Or we take the river. Or you suffer before you die. Three choices then. You dare threaten me? You bracket-faced parasite, I'm no more claim here than the dung beetles. You'd best heed the lady. We have you outnumbered. Look around, old man. Your hired hands will flee at the first sign of trouble. Aye, but the lady's temper alone could take on an army, and the swamp is no friend of yours. display of gratitude I'm no enemy if that's what you fear I fear nothing my name is Aveline I seek the leader of these men he calls himself Francois Macandal you seek him to what end a final one <laughs> ah then you are my kind of woman name's Roussillon my uh, partner in crime is Elise though uh, 
I've heard her called otherwise. Will you help me find their base? No one knows these waters as you do. In return, I'll restore your control of this territory. I've built... We've invested years of work in this camp. Why would we need your help? For reasons, right there. Would you not prefer to move your wares freely? If you think there's only one base, you really do need me. Those louts are spread out thin as swamp gas. It's settled then. Elise will help you find the blighters. Did you bring a canoe? Or do you expect your gentle breeding to keep you from the alligators? Best take one of mine then. And learn to use it right quick. Smugglers. Such an ugly word. Even slavers are called merchants. Why can my title be... Queen of the Bog? Protector of innocence, paddling instructor, and champion of trade. Too long to fit on a wanted poster. Tell me, when did your troubles with Macanda's men begin? About the same time the Spanish governor arrived. Just a big old coincidence, I'm sure. This is as far as the water will take us. They set up their base around a wrecked ship that ran aground not far from here. The other base is a little further along. There. I'll check out this base. You scout ahead. Oui, oui, mon capitaine! Glad I didn't put money on that fight. <laughs> Would've lost. And barely a scratch on you. Now here's a pretty prize. An alligator egg. Take it. You've earned it. <laughs> Aveline! A woman among reptiles. Takes one to no one. Why? that it does. Right then. If you don't run the bastard through right here, I'll meet you at the next base. Yeah! 
my faithful acolyte. The day of the sacred ceremony draws near. I am in want of nothing but more men to join our ranks. Gather the faithful and await my word. One piece, I see. What did you find? A letter from the coward Macandal. He's preparing a ceremony. Voodoo? Yes, but to what end? Power. What other end is there? Show him you've got the spirits at your back. Especially the mean ones. And people do most anything you say. There's your real magic. It's that way, well hidden in the trees. Wait, I recognize those men. They're escaped slaves, hired from Saint Danger. The Shanty Town? Oui, though it barely deserves the name. A cramped, miserable place. The men I saw at your camp, they were from Saint Danger? Oui, <laughs> Roussillon wasn't too happy when I hired them, but he got used to the idea. Please, you can't hurt them. It goes without saying. Best of luck, then. Go. I'll be at the office if you need me. Preparations are complete. Our ceremony will take place on the eve of St. John. Assemble my followers.
as balls of steel. Et puis? Where is Elise? My company doesn't satisfy you? Oh, I am hurt. <sighs> Pray, tell me what you found. I'm as good a confidant as the uh, lady, I swear. It's not a confidant I need, but an informant. Macandal is holding a ceremony on St. John's Eve tonight, but I don't know where. I know who can help, and you can help me in return. Uh, there's a... a, 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 a witch doctor in Saint-Danger. The eyes and ears of the bayou. I sent Elise to him with supplies, but she forgot this. <laughs> so hard to find honest criminal help these days. <laughs> Give him this. With his trust, the secrets of the bayou will be yours. Thank you. Uh, by the by, come back when you are done. I have a job or two that could use a woman of your caliber. And some work as well. <laughs> huh?